God, we just thank you for another beautiful day of life. And we thank you for the privilege of being your children. We thank you for sending your son uh, to die for us. And we thank you uh, so much that he ministers um, before your throne on our behalf. We thank you also for your Holy Spirit that groans and pleads for us and prays for us, uh, describing things that we don't even know what we need or what we want, what we desire. But uh, you know our hearts. Just bless us with your presence as we open your word and just draw us closer to you and to each other. Oh, we thank you for your love in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I just gave kind of a brief introduction last time. Um, we talked about kingdom, uh, how there's there's three parts to the kingdom. And you're going to kind of hear the three-part thing, the threes you know, over and over. Um, <clears throat> but just for a brief review to, to start, you know, the kingdom, the word kingdom comes from, from two words put together. Actually, this word king is obvious, but this word comes from, and it can actually be two words, it can be domain, or you can really deal with dominion, because the idea of dominion deals with domain, that's where it comes from, but, uh, so there's a king, and then there's a domain, and then the third part is going to be the subject, the subject. you have to have people, so you have a king, and that king represents a lot of things. We're going to focus on that tonight. And then there has to have an area of, of where his law or he governs, where he actually has, where he's actually in charge. He's the king. And then, of course, uh, if you don't have subjects, then you don't have a kingdom, right? So those are the basic three parts of any kingdom. Uh, those three parts are going to be represented in many different ways, as we'll see uh, when you start talking about kingdoms and kingdom dynamics. Basically, to cheat the system, what, we're, what you're doing, what we're trying to do is study, we're trying to try to study heaven, okay? Remember, God was on the throne in heaven, right? And Lucifer wanted to, to be equal yeah. with God. He wanted right. to be God. So when Lucifer fell, he tried to set up, he tried to set himself up as God or king, in the kingdom, and he mirrors or mimics his kingdom and his idea of himself after, obviously, after God. So what happens uh, when, you, when you start reading the Bible and you start seeing, you can see it in a positive or you can see it in a negative, that it's the same idea because Satan is mimicking or counter, counter, counterfeiting, is that the better word? Counterfeiting God's kingdom. So he's trying to set himself up as a king and he's trying to set his kingdom here on earth It's a reflection of the kingdom in heaven. So Really, when you study in kingdom dynamics, you're really studying about God and, and the kingdom of heaven. But all kingdom dynamics function by the same principles. Uh, of course, there can be positive and negative. So, and we talked a little bit about that last, last week, didn't we? About the, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, the three parts of God and all that. So, I was looking for an eraser, I guess. 